Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I wanted to take a look at installing rig control uh, on the Raspberry Pi and doing that by compiling Hamlib from source. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start with opening up the terminal. So you could start off and install rig control with something like sudo apt-get uh, install and then uh, rig control. The problem is, is you're going to get a really old version of Hamlib and a lot of the newer radios will not be in there. So let's go ahead today and compile that from source instead so we get the very latest radios installed. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to the website and I'll leave a link to this site down in the description below. And as of the time of recording, uh, it looks like 3.3 .3 is going to be the latest version. So we'll go ahead and click on 3.3. .3, and we're going to scroll down just a bit. And we're looking for this one here, hamlib3.3.tar.gz. So we'll right-click on that and say copy the link location. And let's head back over to the Pi. All right, at the Pi, let's move into our downloads directory. So we'll use cd downloads, and then we'll use the wget command to download the file that we need. So we'll use wget and then paste that link in that we just copied from the website. Now, one thing you'll notice, it adds download right here to the very end. I'm just going to backspace and take that and that leading, um, or that, I'm sorry, that trailing forward slash off of there so that it looks like that. And let's go ahead and hit return to download that file. Okay, now that we've got that downloaded, we'll just run the ls command to list out our files. You'll see that hamlib is the only one that I have in this folder. So now we need to unzip that file. So we'll use tar-zxvf. And then we'll start typing the name of our file, which is ham, and then we'll just hit the tab key, and that should autofill for you. And then let's go ahead and hit return to unzip that file. All right, so let's just clear the screen, and we'll do another list command, and you'll see that it's created a new directory. So let's move into that new directory with cd, ham, hit the tab key for the autofill, and there we are. So the next command we need is a configure command. So I'll just go ahead and paste this in. And again, I'll leave these commands down in the description. And let's go ahead and run that command. So that takes just a couple of minutes to finish up. Our next command is going to be make. So we'll go ahead and type that in now. M-A-K-E. And hit the return key. Hey, now's a great time to go ahead and click the thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. That last command takes 8 to 10 minutes to complete. Next, we want to enter sudo make install. Hey guys, did you know you can support the channel just by shopping at Amazon? Use the link in the description below and the channel will receive a small cut of your purchase and it won't cost you a dime extra. And the last command is sudo ld config. So let's return to our home directory and go ahead and clear the screen. Now if we run rig ctl dash l will get a list of all of the different radios that rig control supports one of the things you'll need to know is your rig number it's listed on the far left side of this table in my case i'm running the yezu 857 so my rig number is 122. so let's go ahead and try to get the frequency from our rig let's start with rig ctl Dash M. Now the dash M is the model number uh, of your radio. In my case, it's 122. That was the number we got uh, when we ran rig control dash L. Uh, that was the number on the far left-hand side that corresponded to my radio. 
all right, we'll put dash R, and this tells us where our rig control cable is located. In my case, it's USB zero. Next, we need to tell it the baud rate of the cable. In my case, it's 4800. And then we're going to give it the little f at the end that says get the frequency. We'll hit return. And you can see my rig is on 7078 right now. I hope this helps you get rig control installed and working on your Pi. Thank you to all of the subscribers. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and leave any questions down in the comments. Until next time, 7-3.